Let's talk about the Monday Night Football game from last night. We're going to recap the Vikings and the Packers Monday Night Football game. And uh, what were your thoughts when you saw the actual game? Number one, I would not call it a game. I'd call it a slaughter. All right, so tell us why you would say it was the 45-7 to victory for the Packers with Aaron Rodgers, of course, one of the best quarterbacks in this league right now, throwing four touchdowns. That's right, four touchdowns. For a 200, just 350 yards, so it wasn't that much. No, but you just put the nail in the coffin, Kyle, because the fact is, when you get a score that big and you dominate that hard, that's not a game. That's a, that's basically gladiators going up against... Going against who? Girl Scouts. I would have put it some someone else, but whatever. <laughs> but still, it's like, still, it's, it's crazy because... I'd Minnesota. say more like little children. Min- that, well, Girl Scouts. I'm actually more more like a flag football team. Let's well, see. That'd be a more yeah. better example. Well, Minnesota just couldn't perform at all. They were Green Bay was stopping them. So much for Christian teams. Ponder. <laughs> right now, now it's but uh, here's now a it's wonder. <laughs> so he actually had a two two of the touchdown passes were to Jordy Nelson. One was to Greg Jennings, and the other was to John Kuhn. Now, how about that interception play where they came? They went, came out, did a, did a kind of a sneak, passed it back, and then threw it, and it was still intercepted. No, but he, here's here's what I thought was interesting. Like real early in the first quarter, Randall Cobb returns a punt for 80 yards. That's like his third touchdown just by making a return. You saw the opening uh, day for uh, against the Saints. He returned a kickoff like 100 yards, took it to the yeah. house, yeah. and now you look at him right now. 80-yard punt return for a touchdown. Uh, that kid, he's got some speed. Randall Cobb. Yeah, like matter of fact, he was moving so fast, I actually had to get fire hoses out because he was lighting the field on fire. He was just going crazy. And then Matt Flynn came in and rushed to the right for a three-yard gain for a touchdown. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just want to know about that. And what did you think about that interception, though, just and then just taking it back? But I still can't get over that guy who you said he made four touchdowns by himself. Though. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, with the best, the, the best QB in the league right now, my friend. Yeah, with a player Take like that, that, Tom that, Brady, ha ha ha. With a player like that that can get you get them that many points, that many touchdowns, I don't see how they're gonna act, uh, um, actually have any problems through the rest of the season. And nine and zero right now. Exactly. So and guess what? They're a contender for the Super Bowl. <laughs> but oh yeah. But here's 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 the question though: Can the Niners contend with them? Oh, oh, that's good. See, that right there is going to be a big thing because when you got a but, team like the Niners and you got a team like, again, like the Packers, you do know that's a rivalry. It is sort of. No, no, that that is a rivalry. And, and it, it is sort of, in my opinion. But let's take a look at the upcoming matches for both teams. We have Tampa Bay playing against Green Bay at home, and uh, we'll get our picks for that on and tomorrow's it, show. Yeah. And we have Minnesota. Let's see. And Minnesota Vikings will be at home against the Oakland Raiders. And that's going to be a slaughter fest. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't speak too soon, there, buddy. Oh, look! Oakland's ranked number one in our division. We look how we beat the Chargers last week. You cannot tell us you're not a phenomenal team. And did you did you do the same for the Kansas City Chiefs? We're not going to go there. Exactly. There you go. That's why ex- you can always expect the unexpected. But I'm not picking against them. I'm just saying, you guys let your guard down, and then just like that, you could get blown out easily. That's that's no joke. Yep, and then we also have some of other course, and of course, Cowboy has no comment to that. Go figure. Well, well, no, it's just a simple fact. I understand what you're saying, but you have to look at the simple fact too. The way that Minnesota's been playing lately, it's they have they're not at the caliber like they should be. Like the. I will tell you, the glory day. you know when the glory days were for Minnesota? Yes, I know. You said this over 500 times. It was in the 70s. That was their glory days. Wow. That was that long ago? That's, well, yeah, that's be- back in – that's a long time ago. Because that, that was, was a long time ago. Because that was the age of the purple people eaters. What's the – I'm sorry you lost me on the purple The purple people. people eaters, they were a group of defenders that were just phenomenal throughout Minnesota's – Rain. But but once again the fearsome foursome was better. 